Hi, Larry here at Chesapeake RV Solutions, your home of the RV warranty for life. Today we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of this Elk Ridge by Heartland, and this is a 33 BHS. Starting here at the entryway, you'll notice the four step more ride step above, and these are down to the ground they do have adjustable feet but the big thing with these is uh, you don't have that diving board feel coming in and also I like this with the four steps they do give you a bigger door handle which is always nice and again this is the Elk Ridge 33 BHS by Heartland RV does have the weather guard which makes this a four season unit also two layers of the Asdell one behind the fiberglass and one behind the paneling on the exterior now on the shorter video I did mention these are zero gravity steps and you notice they do have a spring assist and even with one hand or basically one finger I can lift these and they'll pop up inside the door all ready for travel and I tell you they are nice steps that they do nowadays but these are probably about the easiest I've ever done and like I said one or two finger was able to lift them up and put them inside the doorway come down you do have a little bit of resistance because of the spring but still they're real easy to do now again the 16 inch rims the upgraded more ride suspension Cree 3000 these do have hydraulic auto leveling six point and very nice windows on your campsite you do have LED lights running the length of the awning against the wall you also have your two burner stove top with the wind deflectors little dorm fridge a little outside cabinet for whatever you're going to put in there and again this is below the bunks on the inside this does have a two inch receiver on the back it's rated for 300 pounds ladder going all the way up it actually is a walkable roof. It also has a four inch overlap on the roof and that's actually wrapped with the aluminum sidewall. Do you have more storage in the rear? Pretty good size. Hopefully you can see it with the shadows. Fifty amp service. This does have a covered underbelly. It also has the heat pads for the tanks. Fifty amp service again. <coughs> Deep slide for your living space. And that actually holds your refrigerator and your dinette. There's your bedroom slide, and that holds your wardrobe. And this is a six gallon, excuse me, 12 gallon DSI Direct Spark water heater. Your exhaust for your furnace. And 
This does have a wet bay or universal docking station where everything's coming up from the bottom, all your hoses and whatnot. And it does have a black tank flush. You can see your dry camping plumbing setting. This is set up for site camping with your water just like at your house. You can flip that around, get to your tank fill. But also I like this that it's actually easy to bypass your water heater. I have to take cabinets apart to get to everything. With fist wheels they generally make it a whole lot easier for you. You do have an outside light here. Coax going in for satellite. Different TV setups that you have. Also you got a GFI receptacle. And again with the hose with a nozzle so you can actually clean something with it. And you also have your auto leveling. Remember this is hydraulic. And it's a nice size pass through. I like the uh, molding that they have. So you don't have to worry about any wet stuff that you put in there. Now, this is a store more pass through. And they give you three different ways to get in there, but it also gives you 30% more storage. And uh, underneath here, for those that want to go boondocking, you do have a place for a generator. However, it does have to be prepped. That's actually nice. That's a real tube for your 50 amp cord, which is actually pretty heavy if you, if you ask me. But it is 12 volt. And it will go ahead and reel your tube onto that spool. Here you have your inverter for your refrigerator. It has a residential refrigerator. Your hydraulics, of course. And your battery disconnects are in there as well. And of course, our little jump box. It is prepped for solar. And again, the hydraulics. Again, with the rotocast on the sides. But just look at the size of that pass through, especially having the three different entry points GFI receptacle, coax for out here. That's also a uh, speaker charger. If you decide to get one of those. Quick look on the outside. And this is the Elk Ridge by Heartland. This actually has your spare tire hanging in the front there on the BAL tire carrier, which, uh, you know, you get some of these that are set up like your truck would be, you gotta stick the handle in there and crank it down. This one you just basically pull, it will drop down, be able to get your spare off of it real easy. I actually like these, I wish more units came like this, but uh, that's actually nice. On the inside, first thing, this is a tri-fold sofa. I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit breaking down as a sofa. You do have nice wide windows in here. And your light above the dinette. Nice touch. And one thing as well, these do have the roller shades. Nice be able to black this out at night. Those are actually the uh, MCD brand. They're on each of the windows. Your residential refrigerator. I believe that's an 18 cubic foot. Show you the inside real quick. 
plenty of room for all those goodies in the door as well and bottom freezer and your other freezer drawer for ice and whatnot very nice boot dinette. Now this has a 50 inch TV. It does have your sound bar at the bottom but it also has HDMI. You can Bluetooth to this. Nice window again on your campsite. Drawers for storage. You also have your 40 inch electric fireplace. Definitely nice on a cool day like today. Take the chill off. And your residential size convection microwave oven. And hopefully I can reach these. You do have storage above I like the glass fronts gives it a nice classy look again with the hard counter top residential farm style sink pull down nozzle of course 22 20 oh, 24 inch oven with the three burner stove top put this back you do have the glass top this is a double for your backsplash Pretty nice size. Another GFI receptacle here in the kitchen where you need it. One thing I'd like to point out as well, you see your finish on your cabinets. It's the same in your door. But I like the doorway a little decoration or a little bit of molding around there gives it a nice look other than the mundane solid doors that we have and going into your bunk room of course you have lights galore in here as well you do have the same MCD blinds for the windows these bunks are actually rated for 300 pounds, so it doesn't matter what size kids you have, you should be able to fit them back here. You actually have two on the top, about a twin size mattress on the bottom. Gives you uh, sleeping totally in here, about eight or ten people. Now, just to shut the door. Let you see the drawers are deep. Do you have storage shelves along the side as well? Storage underneath the bunk. Your outside kitchen is on the other side of that wall, of course. These lights. You can turn off and on individually. The top lights are by the switch. So now as we enter the living area, you can see I have the booth dinette broken down into another bed and the tri-fold sofa. I just put those cushions back there as 
kind of a headboard. But you can see what I say as far as one, two, three, maybe four in the bunk area, five, six, seven, maybe in here, plus what you can sleep on the queen size bit in the bedroom. So you definitely have some uh, sleeping areas for a big family or friends going out. Overhead cabinets, I do like that glass fronts. Now, I'm going to put this back together and uh, we'll go up front. Now, before we go up front, that's your slide room for your bedroom. You do have your magnum energy. That's your inverter switch for your refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. You do have your monitor panel for your tanks. Tank heater, which I told you about earlier, has pads around the tanks. Also your water pump. 12 volt water heater. Or 120. You also have your main light switch. Your hydraulic slide. That's your main room slide here. And uh, it will be set up a lot quicker than the electric. Especially with those hydraulic landing gear and uh, self-leveling. And you do have your awning switch and your light. Let me turn it off before I forget. Going up into the stairwell. Notice also, sorry, no carpet except for that in your slide room, which is nice rather than the plush carpet that they usually put in here. Kind of looks like an outside carpet, but it's easy to clean. Now, let's go up. I'm going to take a detour into the bathroom real quick. Now, again, this is another one that has a nice size sink in the bathroom, so you can wash your hands. Brush your teeth, don't have to worry about trying to get it in the sink because big enough target there for you. Also your medicine cabinet, nice size. You have this corner spa shower for those that are vertically challenged. They do uh, put the skylight right where they need to. You do have a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's actually in a good position. No worries there. Now, this is that bedroom slide. And you notice half of this is going to close up into the bathroom. So, gives you a little bit of area for towels and whatnot. So it gives you a nice full extension drawer glide. And this is the bathroom side. Now, also gives you a landing space for clocks, whatnot. Nice size. Let me turn the light switch on. Your thermostat, you have two separate thermostats. One for here, that's a 13.5 AC. And the one in the back in the living area is going to be a 15K. Keep you cool enough. Your wardrobe. Nice size deep drawers on your underneath the wardrobe. You definitely got enough storage places in here. Power on either side of the bed. And one thing, I don't know if I do this justice, but uh, you'll notice most fifth wheels, when you get up into the front, you really have to duck your head. And sometimes I actually do, but in here, not so much. And on the outside, it kind of looks like a flat front cap. 
Well, one thing they do, instead of putting all the electronics in the front cap, they're putting it underneath the bed. So you really don't have any bed storage here. But you do have plenty of height. And I have a good, I don't know, six inches above my head here. And I'm five foot seven, so someone that's uh, around six foot shouldn't have a problem. Nice bed. Two 30 pound pro propane tanks. Now, you do notice that there's a sliding door to close off the bedroom to the bathroom. And then you do have the two regular hung doors into the hallway. But I do like the uh, decorative touch on the doors. And the MCD blinds on every window. But the headroom you have up in front here is nice. Just to walk through one more time. If you have five receptacle there, switch here. Switches. Coming back into the living area, separate thermostat again. And these are H ducted. If you notice, all the ducts are parallel with each other. So it's going to run like a racetrack basically. Plenty of open space for pets. That's one thing those outside carpets are good for as well. And that's a big TV. Trim work around your slide. And your tripod couch again. Go in the bunk room one more time. Turn on the light. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this Elkridge 33 VHS by Heartland RV. If you like this one or any other that we have on our site, please come by or give us a call. And again, here at Chesapeake RV Solutions, we're here to help you create the memories you'll talk about forever. Thank you.